It's news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. Nigeria at 61. Independence Day celebration. A carade release in Abdikanu now. Uriwa to Buari. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria. Uriwa has described the celebration of Nigeria's 61st independence as a carade. The rights advocacy group also called for immediate release of Inamdekalu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and for the secessionist group to embrace genuine dialogues with the government. The group opined that Nigeria, at the moment, has met all the description of a failed nation and backed its opinion with a deep recent uh, by the Council on Foreign Relations, CFR, and Harvard Kennedy School, which said that Nigeria as a nation is at the point of no return. Uriwa further noted that the incompetence, ineptitude, insensitive high handedness and impotent leadership has thrown the country into disaster and woes. The group said that the current administration has lowered the bar of good governance and has abandoned Nigerians to the vagaries and uncertainties of conflicts, entrepreneurs, arms and uh, smugglers with terrorists. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria said that the president made the mistake of a lifetime by surrounding himself by those it described as ethnic warlords, such as Gaba Shew, amongst others. Accusing the presidential aide of clearly working to advance the selfish and pedestrian interests of his Fulani and Islamic groups and affiliations using public platform and resources. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria uh, also challenged the president to incite concrete, genuine, and deep national reconciliation and dialogue and check the rising ethno religious vendetta and diatribes being stalked by. Uh, Gaba Shiu and other ethno religious warlords embedded in his government. In a statement signed by the national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Omubiko, Uriwa capeted the nation's political class for their alleged collective and classical lack of leadership acumen and capacity to manage the country's diversity. The experience of Nigerians since 2015 has been piercing. Before then, Nigeria was the third fastest uh, growing economy in the world next to China and India with a growth rate of close to 7%, uh, but the economy contracted immediately after the swearing in of President Buhari, who took more than six months to constitute his cabinet. And sadly, the cabinet ministers are mostly opportunistic, cash-guzzling politicians with zero commitment to Nigerians' national economic revolution and advancement. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria actually said that Nigeria has continued to meander the path befitting field, weak and juvenile states, a state that had very great prospects. They averred that it was disturbing to note that while Nigeria is the third most terrorized country in the world, next to Afghanistan and Iraq, the Buhari-led government actions are centered on cows in such a way that cows are more secure in Nigeria than Nigerians, just as the others are armed to the teeth to the knowledge of government authorities. Also, the Human Rights Writers Association uh, revealed that Nigeria's public debt stock, which has reached $84 billion, with debt service costs gulping about 80% of entire government revenue. Nigeria's external debt increased by 107.4% from $12.6 billion in 2015 to $27.4 billion by the end of 2019. Furthermore, the rights group expressed worries that between March and June 2020, a total of $10.26 billion new debt was approved by the National Assembly, while other approvals for more loans were also given this 2021. Of the four administrations who have led Nigeria since our return to democracy in 1999, the current administration holds the worst records in terms of economic growth. Olusegun Obasanjo regime from 1999 to 2007 has had an average growth uh, of 6.9% in 
his immediate successor, Umaru Yaradua, did even better in his two years with an average growth rate of 7.6%, while Gulo Jonathan delivered 5% growth rate in his six-year term as president uh, that ended in 2015, the group added. Relatedly, Uma Rights Writers Association also used the occasion of the 61st independence celebration of Nigeria to call for cessation of conflicts and attacks in the southeast of Nigeria so dialogue can be embraced. The Human Rights Writers Association further called on indigenous people of Biafra to strictly enforce the suspension of the, uh, of the Monday Six Atom Order as well as the United Nations for intervention and the release of Kanu. And these were the words of the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria that the Independence Day celebration was just a parade and that the uh, Buhari led administration needs to release Mazin and the Kanu, where they say that uh, the country uh, is actually failed already and the uh, inept ineptitude, uh, incompetence, and insensitive ironedness, and also the nepotism uh, by the Buhari led administration of the country has led us all into disaster and woes. The group also said that the uh, that good governance uh, has actually been abandoned, and that Nigerians are now suffering from conflict and then terrorism in the country. Saying that President Muhammadu Buhari is actually falling into this kind of mess because of the kind of people he surrounded himself with, such as Gaba Shewu, who is the special, uh, who is the, uh, presidential aide, uh, and also that all the other people who are just uh, not telling President Muhammadu Buhari the truth uh, just because of their selfish and pedestrian interests. The Human Rights Writers Association also challenged President Muhammadu Buhari to initiate concrete, genuine and deep national reconciliation and dialogue and not to go after people that are clamoring for their rights to self-determination. In a statement signed by National Coordinator Comrade Emmanuel Owobiko, uh, Human Rights Writers Association carpeted the nation's political class for their alleged collective and classical lack of leadership acumen. The experience of Nigerians since 2015 has actually been pressing. And before then, Nigeria was the third fastest growing economy in the world next to China and India with a growth rate of close to 7%, but the economy contracted immediately after swearing in of President Muhammadu Buhari took more than six months to constitute his cabinet. Therefore, the human rights writers uh, of Nigeria had actually said that uh, Nigeria, the state of Nigeria now is disturbing because it is now the third most terrorized country in the world next to Afghanistan and Iraq and that the only thing that the Bari led administration is doing is centered on chaos and that Nigerians just as elders are armed to the teeth to the knowledge of the government authorities and that the past government had actually recorded a good growth uh, in the economy than the present uh, President Muhammadu Buhari's regime, seeing that there is need for the indigenous people of IPOP to continue with the agitations to secure the release of Mazin Abdikanu. Thanks for listening.